water reuse continues to grow and as municipalities everywhere recycle more water, there's an increased need to expand wastewater treatment capacity. Here today to talk about what he's seeing in the industry and a solution that enables municipalities to meet this demand is Greg Brickett, Vice President of the Zeeweed Global Business Line at Veolia Water Technologies and Solutions. Thanks for being here today, Greg. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I want to dive right in. So we want to talk a little bit about some of the trends and the key challenges that you're seeing in wastewater treatment right now, as well as water reuse. Sure. You know, globally, our water resources are under increasing amount of strain. You, you look at global water issues like uh, water scarcity, the impacts of extreme weather, rising energy cost, costs, population growth. These coupled together with rising levels of, of pollution and more stringent legislation means that we are seeing the need to upgrade our existing treatment infrastructure. And that's really to uh, accomplish a better resilience in that technology. So every day we're seeing municipalities and industrial companies around the globe addressing these challenges by turning towards advanced wastewater treatment uh, and reuse solutions to uh, optimize the water resources in a more sustainable way. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Now, you did recently expand your Zeeweed portfolio. Um, so how has the Zeeweed 500 EV really helped to address some of these challenges? You know, over the last three decades in membrane bioreactors or what we call MBRs, customers have really trusted Zeeweed 500 products to help them overcome their advanced wastewater challenges. Our latest configuration, called the EV500, uses the exact same membrane technology as we have in the past. However, the updated design has allowed us to keep pace with customers' evolving needs by maximizing treatment quality and capacity while minimizing footprint and operational costs. This means that the EV is an MBR solution that will dramatically lower the total cost of building expanding and operating an MBR. That's really great, Greg. Thank you. Now, why should customers consider the Zeeweed 500 EV over other wastewater-based solutions? Well, look, I, I really think that there's three reasons. You know, EV in the configuration that we've designed, it's really got a, an industry-leading membrane packing density, and that translates to a customer being able to treat more wastewater in a given footprint. The result is its greater savings for either a new plant construction or an expansion into an existing plant. You know, secondly, with proper design, operation and preventative maintenance, the average lifespan of our ZV500 membranes is around 15 years. So really the life cycle cost to own and maintain our ZV500 MBR type of plants is, is about as low as it can be. Thirdly, I'd say that our ZV500 membranes have significant treatment stability and resilience and provide a very high quality uh, level of effluent. You know, that really allows our customers to continue to pace with changes in regulation, whether that's for uh, discharge or for reuse. So really with now the, the Zeeweed 500 EV, our customers will get an MBR technology that's really backed by unprecedented experience and it will allow them the flexibility to expand their infrastructure to face the toughest challenges at the low, lowest total cost of ownership. Thanks, people are very interested and I'm sure. Thank you so much, Greg, for joining us today and for sharing such great information. Great, it's been my pleasure, thank you. Well, for more on the Zeeweed 500 EV configuration or the full Zeeweed portfolio, head over to watertechnologies.com.